Today we're looking at the new Gundam theme G Fuel. YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name's Jason, this is Gideon. Here on this channel, I do food and product reviews. Today is another G Fuel review, one that I am super excited for. I have been waiting for this collector's box to get here for so long. When I saw this come up on the G Fuel website, immediately purchased it. I didn't have to think long at all. It is the Gundam collector's box. Are you excited for this one? Not only does this collector's box look absolutely amazing, what's inside it is even cooler. As we can see on the, I don't know if you'd consider this the front or the back. First off, it, it is one of these tall collector's boxes because there's a tall boy in here. So we have Amaro Ray on this side. If you, I would say this is the back. I'm gonna say this is the back. I'm a right away with the RX-78 II next to him there. We have Char over here with a Zaku and the other Zaku's down there. There's the RX-78 II again. I mean, this is cool. A look at the bottom there. G Fuel Energy Formula on top. Awesome collector's box. But let's take a look at what's inside here. Okay, so let's first, who do we want to look at first? Let's, there's some cards in here. Let's see what this is. So you have a card in here, really cool. And then you have some Gundam info back there, which I haven't even looked at this yet. So it is the official portal site for Gundam news and information. So I guess you can just scan that. And it will take you to anime movies, model kits, games. Okay, I think I'll have to check this out later, but this is cool. I did see this, because I peeked in this earlier. Um, where is it? I think it fell down in here. The sticker. The sticker that comes with this. By far, in my mind, I mean, this whole setup is the coolest G Fuel setup they've had. The sticker. Oh my goodness. If you are a Gundam fan, you're, hopefully you got your hands on this. They did do a second run of it and it sold out again. I was almost gonna buy a second one. So I could have two of these. Why not? I didn't do it. I hesitated. I should have. Man, I don't know if in the second run you're going to get, sometimes you don't get the sticker. So hopefully you get your hands on this sticker because it is, in my opinion, the best G Fuel sticker they've made it so far. Because I don't like the big square ones. I like ones like this that I can actually stick on something that I would use. This is probably going to go on my laptop, I think. This is awesome. Then we have the tall boy itself. And I've been saying probably since my very first G Fuel video, um, I think it was the Nick at Night one I did, just talking about the, the shakers, how, you know, they're just kind of plain. They put a little design on there where they have all that real estate on these that you could do something with. And finally, they've done it with this shaker. So you got it in the bag here. It's hand wash only. They have a little card in there. So this is a stainless steel one. You don't want to put it in the dishwasher because you don't want this coming off. I'm not even sure if I'm even going to use this shaker or it's going to go in my little G Fuel cubby hole that I keep some of my uh, more used tubs and some of my shakers that I don't use. I have a little, little shrine set up, I guess you'd call it, in my kitchen. Um, this shaker, though. I don't use tall boys, so that's why I'm not sure if I'll use this or if this will just be a collector's item. But this is the coolest one. Finally, design all around it. The RX-72 on there, you got Char's uh, Zaku over there. I have no idea what this says. If you do, just leave it down in the comments below. I don't really care. It looks awesome. It looks cool. The G Fuel logo, I love it in those colors there. This is my first, I think my first tall boy. I don't think I have a tall boy. Definitely don't have a stainless steel tall boy. The only other stainless steel shaker I have is this one. And I did notice, because I did look at it earlier, um, the insert here, obviously black, but I don't think it comes out. I'm pulling on it, it doesn't move. I don't wanna try and ruin it by messing with it too much. Where on you know, this stainless steel shaker, it comes out. So leave it in the comments below. If you have any of the, the tall boy stainless steel shakers. Does that insert come out or not? Not a big deal, I don't really care. Take a look inside there. Lid flipping up there. Get a little, where you can hook a carabiner to it. Again, this 
is an amazing shaker. I hope they do more. I don't know if this is a one-time deal with Gundam or will they do another Gundam with some different ones on here? Hopefully they do another stainless steel shaker. I would love to see. I get it why they did a tall boy because you have more space to put the Gundams on and the Gundams are huge. So why not do it on a tall boy? But I would like to see a regular size shaker, stainless steel shaker with an all around design on it. Okay, last thing in here is the tub itself. And it is, okay, now you're gonna check it out there. It's a cool, the tub is as cool as the shaker and stuff. You got Armour on there, you got Char on there, you got his Zaku, the RX-782 on there. Even the energy focus, if you see those down there, energy is Armouro, focus the RX-782, endurance is just a, a Zaku, and then reaction is Char's Zaku. The, so the actual name of this is the MS M31 on or Ramune Melon. And I have an actual bottle of Melon Ramune, so we'll compare it to this and see how it tastes. And again, when I bought this, I really could care less what the flavor was. I was getting it. It didn't matter if this was chili dog, which I hate that flavor. I don't think anyone likes that flavor. Even if it was the chili dog flavor in here, I would have still got this whole setup. Just, I probably would have never opened it, but just to have it because it is amazing. But we will check this out and see how this flavor actually tastes. And no, the Gunplas aren't included in the purchase of this package. You have to get those and build those yourself. They're fun. If you've never built Gundams before, highly recommend it. Um, they have different grades that you can get into. This is a real grade. This is a high grade. The high grades are really simple. Take maybe an hour or two to build, depending on your level, where the real grades can take you a little longer, especially this one. I hate touching it because this one will like explode. It's I got it just because it goes with this package. Otherwise, I would not have got this because this is like one of the worst real grades because it falls apart pretty much anytime you touch it. Okay, we're here for this. Let's see how this flavor, well actually we're here for all this, but you can still get the tub, like this is sold out. I don't know if they're gonna bring it back again. I wouldn't see why not, if they can get their hands on and get these made again in the boxes because they sell it so quickly. I would personally, since I already have it, I would rather see them do another Gundam G Fuel Keep this series going, do some more Gundams. I absolutely love it. But you can get this still. So this is available. So if you want at least the G Fuel itself, you can pick that up. It, man, it reminds me of, gosh. There's a sucker. God, I haven't had one of these suckers in ages, probably since I was a kid. But that, as soon as I smelt that, that's what it reminds me of. I'm thinking these suckers here, these Smarties double lollipops. I don't know if that's what it was when I was a kid, if it was made by Smarties, but that's the lollipop that I'm thinking. If you've ever had that or remember that, that's what the smell is bringing to mind to me when, as soon as I smelled it, I was like, I was thinking of that sucker. All right, let's see what color we're gonna have here. I don't, maybe it's gonna be a clear color because it may make sense. Cause I'm trying to think, are all Ramune's clear? Which is weird because I don't, I'm sure there are other G Fuels out there that when you mix up and make this color, I don't have one. So this is a first for me. And Ramune is Japanese, um, carbonated beverage, comes in a fun little bottle. You pop the little bead or ball down into it and it makes the carbonation come up. Like I said, I have one of those. We'll bring it out here in a minute. Do we try this? There's just a clear beverage. Not much smell. Like the powder has much more smell. Not smelling really anything. All right, let's see how this Melon Ramune is.
Hmm. Not sure. Like initially, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm like I said, I want to compare it to. I will go get that Ramune and see, because I I know I did a video. I did it years and years ago on different Japanese um, things, and I I did one on those sodas, and I don't think we liked them. And maybe it's because this aftertaste. I'm wondering, is this aftertaste what Ramune is supposed to taste like? I'm not picking up much melon in it. I just get a weird aftertaste with it. Like, I don't hate it. Like, this would probably grow on me. I don't know, like, initially if I'm like, this is a flavor I'm going to go to a lot. I don't know. I'd have to come back and try it a few. But let me go get, get a bottle, the actual stuff, and compare it. See how close it is. Okay, so this brand is green, which, I mean, I'm sure there's other brands that make it. So that's what I'm wondering. Why didn't they go with a green color? I mean, if they're, you know, melon is typically, because I'm thinking like a, what is it? Like a musk melon or something that's green. I don't know what melon that's supposed to be. So I got our little thing. Your little ball is right there on the top. So basically you're just taking this and pushing it down into the bottle. And then it just sits right there. Okay, so our actual melon Ramune compared to our G Fuel. Let me get this shook up a little more. It is a weird bottle to drink out of. This. Now, oh yeah, that is, man, that's, this is worse, hands down worse, but similar in a way. This is sweeter tasting than this, but yeah, that aftertaste is Ramune. So you, wow, they actually pretty well nailed the aftertaste. If you're not a fan of this, you might not like this. Again, this is so much better. Now that I'm drinking this, I'm like, oh, this isn't too bad. Yeah, it has that weird whatever. I don't know. What these remind me of is if you ever go and get um, a soda, say from McDonald's or Burger King or something, and you don't get the actual, the sodas ran out and you're just getting that like carbonated water they're giving you. That's kind of what this reminds me of, that taste. Not as bad as that, but that's kind of what you're getting. This is hands down like a hundred times better than that. Like I said, sweeter. Now that I've been drinking, now that I come back and drink this compared to that, I do pick up more of the melon right away. And then you just get that aftertaste. Not near as bad as that. And I'm sure if you drank this enough, you'd get used to that. Maybe that aftertaste, you wouldn't even notice it. You wouldn't pick it up as much. But because as like that sip, I was like, okay, it's getting better as I drink it. So it's one that I think will grow on me. I don't love it, but it's not bad, especially compared to that. It's really good compared to that, but it, it's okay. And if they came back out with this again and release it again, even though I'm not a huge fan of the flavor, I'd buy the package again just to get these and have a tub that I probably wouldn't even open and just have it sit there in my little shrine of G Fuel collectibles and cool t stuff that I have there. Definitely try it out, especially even if you're, if you're a Gundam fan, hands down, get it. Whether you drink it or not, try it out. Leave it down in the comments. Again, I will drink this. I'll probably go through this whole tub eventually. It's not gonna be an everyday one. Maybe once a week I'll have this. Cause as I'm drinking, you know, it's not as, I'm getting used to it. Where I don't think I can get used to this. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, 
that's like getting the, the that flavor is getting stronger and stronger i think as it sits here man so there you go the gundam ms m31 on collector's box the amazing tall boy stainless steel shaker the melon ramune flavored g fuel let me know in the comments below what do you think of this setup did you get it yourselves will you be picking up the flavor highly suggest if it comes out again if you haven't been able to have a chance to get it pick it up i was wrapping up the video and realized you weren't even in here to give it a smell test or anything you want to try it he's not going to try it but come here you want to smell it okay now how about this one you want to smell this one hey get in you're being stubborn today. You want to smell this one? You, you like the Rumune? Okay, there you go. All right, if you've enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. For Gideon, I'm Jason. We'll see you next time.